I have a New Matter Mod T printer, and recently I've had a problem where the filament has gotten cooled off improperly within this segment of the machine, and then it keeps me from being able to load my new filament. Presently, um, this is off of an unload cycle, so it's, it's good now, so I'm not gonna actually go through the process and apply the heat like uh, I'll walk you through here soon, but uh, these steps should help you get your um, Mod T back up and running without having to take apart the body. So what you're gonna need is a cheap soldering iron like this that has a temperature control. I'm pretty sure that they all do, um, but just make sure that you have the ability to change the temperature and I'll put a link in the show notes. I think this was like 10 or 12 bucks on Amazon. You can probably get them for even cheaper um, elsewhere. But what you're gonna wanna do is bring this up to 325 degrees Celsius, and then start your Mod T in the typical load phase. Once the Mod T tells you it's up to temperature, you're gonna wanna apply that 325 degrees back and forth for about 30 to 45 seconds on this washer here that's attached to your body of the machine here. Now evidently this is actually the culprit of the problem that you're, you're having because this is a kind of large surface area comparatively speaking and if I, whether this is aluminum or stainless steel the ability for it to, to get rid of the, the heat faster than everything else it will get cooler here and then expand and that's what's causing your log jam here. But you're gonna be hopefully melting this with the soldering iron by applying it again back and forth. Meanwhile, up top, you're gonna to take, hopefully you have filament coming out already. If you don't, um, I'll show you how to do it um, by another method. But if you have the filament coming out, you're just gonna to wanna to slowly and very softly apply pressure to try to get the feed mechanism to take the new plastic as it pushes through the now hopefully melted plastic from down here. If you don't have excess filament sticking out of your machine, all you need to do is cut a piece of filament from your spool about three inches long or so, and you're gonna go into the same um, feeder that you typically would, and you want to slowly rotate around and apply pressure down to try to find the top of that filament. That's the most difficult part with having to do it with a separate piece of filament, is if the, the piece of filament in the machine is turned a slightly different way than you're applying pressure, a lot of times it will just slip past it so you'll feel like you're failing and not getting the plastic to go through. But you just wanna make sure that you keep working around patiently until you find the top of the filament in there and you're actually applying pressure straight down. And then you should, again, see the filament get pulled into the machine and then your excess filament will melt and come out of the machine per usual. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope this helps.